Hey, I've decided to finish writing Laertes by the end of February, and so I thought I would vlog the experience, but uh, here's hoping I can get that done. Hey, today is February 1st, so as I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, I'm planning on finishing the first draft of Laertes by the end of this month, which is going to be a tall order. Um, but as my calendar says, it's time to be adventurous. I'm going to do my best to finish the draft and stay on track with the uh, timeline that I have in mind. I haven't made an official announcement about when the pre-order is going up, when the actual release date is, but I definitely have an idea in my mind of what, what I want that to look like. So last night I went to uh, meet my writing group and they had some really helpful and encouraging feedback about uh, part of Laertes up to where they are right now. So I'm feeling pretty good about that, but I also, right before I met with them, tried to write uh, the next scene, uh, of course, and if you know Hamlet, it's a version of Act 4, Scene 5, which is proving to be really uh, more technically difficult than most of the other scenes in Laertes so far, because I'm trying to marry the dark academia 1920s kind of world that I've created with the uh, sticking as close to the play as possible, not using the Shakespearean words per se, but you'll see it's, it's uh, you know, I want the conversations to go pretty much beat for beat. And so it's just, it's like a, it's like a big puzzle. It's pretty difficult. So chances are I won't be able to write any more today just because I have a long day at work. It's dark out. I'm about to leave <laughs> to teach for a full day and then I have to come back and do some chores and stuff. Um, but it looks like a winter storm is rolling in. So tomorrow could be a good time to make up some ground on Laertes, but I'll keep you informed. And this vlog is meant to also keep me honest and on track with actually finishing by the end of February. So fingers crossed and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, so I just got a good writing session in and pretty much finished Act 4, Scene 5, which, if you know Hamlet, is a pretty difficult and emotional and technical scene, so it's definitely just a first draft, but uh, yeah, I really got some uh, headway going there. You know, the watch was telling me to stand up and all that, which... I guess is a good sign because it means that you're just in the in the groove but it's such a sad scene this book is going to be sad overall but um, at least I got some stuff done hey I realized I haven't checked in today um, so I've been kind of restless but I have made a little bit of headway in Laertes, I guess. I just reached out to the people from Cronenberg Castle again with some additional questions because as I'm getting into the very specific Hamlet scenes that are set there, I'm realizing that I have uh, a lot more questions to ask. So hopefully they get right back to me. One of the things that I requested was an English guidebook with pictures of the of the castle, you know, if they could direct me to where I could buy one of those, but we shall see. I just wrote part of a scene, but uh, today has not not been super productive apart from just thinking, which doesn't feel productive. <laughs> it just feels like you're kind of pacing around and, and uh, going nuts. But anyway, that is today.
Hey, it is Monday, February 7th. I know I haven't really checked in the last couple days. There's been a lot of kerfuffle going on, but um, back to school today. And um, I did manage to write a little bit this morning, which I was really proud of myself for, and a little bit yesterday as well with everything that was going on. I felt like that was that was positive. So <clears throat> if you're following the kind of progression of Hamlet in this story, then I'm, I've reached the end of act four, scene five. Um, so, uh, is it act four, scene five? No, no, I'm, I'm past that. Um, act four, scene seven. So if you are not a Hamlet fan, then that's perfectly fine. You don't need to look up what that is. But if you're a little obsessive like I am, you can go, oh, okay, all right, so I know what's going down. So I'm almost to the final act of Hamlet that I need to need to write, but at least I at least I have a draft. I don't know how these Hamlet specific scenes are really working because it's less um, creativity, you know, it's it's less of the characters that I came up with and I feel like I know because I made them and it's more trying to make sure that Shakespeare's characters are saying and doing what they say and do in the play but with reason so that's kind of what's been going on the last couple days Hey, I have just finished grading a super long paper. There are a couple weekends every year where I have to grade for hours and that is not my favorite thing. So I'm going to, whoa, <laughs> I'm going to reward myself with some onion dip, which is one of my vices one of my favorite things, but I don't often make it for myself. So I'm just gonna take a break, stretch a little bit because I've been sitting in kind of an uncomfortable position for a while. I'll admit I have not worked on Laertes today, but I was working on things that could end up being um, very related. So I'm gonna, you know, go back into that with a vengeance here pretty soon, but I did need to focus on these papers <laughs> and getting those finished because they just they just take ages they're if most of the time uh over 10 pages long and require an enormous amount of feedback because it's not the final submission it's one of several drafts it's the second to last one so it needs the most feedback and there's this big long rubric and anyway so uh so yeah it's onion dip time Hey, so it is the day after Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, by the way, I made myself ratatouille for the first time, and I think it turned out pretty well. Um, today, then, is the the 15th. I really need to not gesture with my microphone. That would be a smart thing. Just trust me, I was looking very professional at school today, but then I got home and I immediately got in my pajamas because that's that's just how I roll, and it was kind of constricting, you know? But anyway, I got extra dressed up because sometimes I do that. But today it was because I was meeting with the head of school. I have decided that I want a big change in my life. And I'm sure I'll do more videos on this in general. But um, I've been teaching for 11 years full time at the same school. And there's a reason for it. I mean, there's a lot that I love, but... I am just, I'm ready for a change. I've been putting up with some of the same tasks and things year after year that I just really could do without at this point, or at least, you know, go with a, with a change of pace. But I couldn't foresee myself quitting outright other, uh, uh, also because I love teaching Hamlet so much and I love some of the you know, I love being part of that community. There are certain teachers in particular that I've taught with for a while that I really enjoy seeing almost every day and so anyway all this to say I was considering a change for myself and I thought that if I could teach 
part-time, like literally just a couple classes a day to <laughs> then and then write and do some some tutoring and stuff on the side. I guess that would be my main thing would be then writing and tutoring. It would be such an exciting adventure and it also would give me a better sense of my own mind regarding teaching full-time. Would I want to go back to it after a year? Maybe. Would I want to leave and do something completely different? That is a very possible outcome as well. So today I had that conversation asking if I could even have the opportunity to teach part-time because the English department at the school has never done that. It's It only does that for some special classes that are requirements but are very niche to find somebody who can teach that and something else. And uh, so anyway, the talk went really well. It looks like I will have the ability to teach just part-time next year and actually bet on myself and really give this author thing a shot. So man, it's a lot to it's a lot to think about, but that is what has what, what's gone on today. And that's why I haven't written for the last <laughs> like several days because I've been kind of consumed with dis uh, wrapping my head around the possibility of doing this and finally coming to the conclusion that I did want to officially pursue it. So that is that is that, but it's a big big update. If things don't work out, which I out at this point um then i'll just delete this update no this is like i literally pre-chose all these things. oh okay but yet there's so i've decided that i am pretty terrible at vlogging it's been what like two weeks since i've stopped by to talk and i've done so many things um I've written more on Laertes, uh, notably I wrote kind of a flashback scene while I was waiting at the doctor for an, an appointment. It was just a routine thing, I'm perfectly fine. But um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I went to Cripple Creek with my sisters for a little getaway, which was really fun. And very excitingly, <laughs> the final files for the audiobook of Fury and Rising came through as well uh, about a week and a half ago. Um, it was not this past weekend, but the weekend before that. And so those are percolating in the, you know, ecosystems of the distributors and nothing's been finalized yet because the, the covers didn't, didn't uh, pass, but I've updated the covers, the audiobook covers, and so those should be available very, very, very soon. And so today is a snow day and I was planning on doing more writing on Laertes. So I'm in the middle of the equivalent of Act 1, of Act 5, Scene 1, and there are, there's literally only one more scene left in the original play, and there's just the one pa part left um, in my story as well, just about another another uh, like two chapters to go, one for this scene and one for the next one, the big grand finale. So will I get done in February? It's looking a little unlikely unless I just get the get the fire going. <laughs> uh, if you're a writer then you know what I'm talking about. You know that that um, you know, when you're super, super inspired, then it's a lot easier to write thousands of words than it is when you're kind of thinking about other stuff and working on a variety of things. Oh, that's my new, that's my new planner over there. And I just inaugurated it moments ago and decided when I was going to, to start kind of setting goals and, and things like that for when I get to go part-time to school and then work the rest of the time on my author career. So, man, wild. All right, uh, that is the update. A lot of really big stuff, and I know I didn't give you much in between, but that is what's going on. You know what? I have been the absolute worst about vlogging the end of Laertes like I was planning. I mean, you want to know some of the stuff that has happened since I checked in with you probably last month? It's, uh, it's spring break right now, by the way, so it's the 20... I don't even know. What is it? The 23rd? Yes, it is March 23rd, 
and I have ordered the cover for Laertes, which should be in any day. It has not come in yet, but it should be in any day. I've sent out the first chapters to beta readers, and oh my gosh, I was nervous because this is such a different story, different content. You know, it's a, it's an adult book and not a young adult book, and it's Shakespeare retelling instead of fantasy. Um, but the but the feedback I've been getting so far has just been like outstanding. People are loving the 1920s setting. They are um, connecting to Laertes as a character and some of the new people that I put in because we know Hamlet, then you know that Laertes is in France through a lot of the story and not interacting with the um, the main characters through a lot of it and I didn't want him to just be alone. What kind of a story is that? So anyway, there's a whole thought process behind that, but people are really liking the new characters. Um, and then I've had to go back and oh, so I decided to do something absolutely insane that I'm not sure that I'll do again, but just wait, I'm going to totally do it again. Um, I really wanted beta readers to get the stuff uh, over my spring break because that's when I was able to respond a lot more quickly and not have as much of other stuff on my plate and you know I could have full days of, of working on it so I wasn't even finished with writing the book <laughs> and I started editing and, and sending out the first chapters and so anyway that brings me to today today I spent the majority of the day writing it's like four o'clock right now uh, for something um, and I finished I finished writing the book at last and it's just it was really emotional actually um, it, you know I was working on it all day I looked back and it was about four thousand words so that's really good for me that's um, 14 pages or so, <clears throat> 15 pages, something like that. And, um, yeah, I finished, I wrote the end and then I just kind of started crying cause it's such a sad ending, <laughs> which, you know, if you know the story of, of Hamlet, but it was not how I would normally write my endings if it was just completely up to me and I wasn't adhering to somebody else's vision so I think that means good things like I think I think that probably means that there are some some good things about the ending but I was I I didn't even read back over it I just formatted it and then and then sent it out um because I need a little I need a little break I need to step back from Laertes and actually have something of a spring break it's Wednesday <clears throat> and most of what I've been doing is working on on this story but uh but I finished at last today and it's a complete novel now and I just need to wait for more feedback to come in so sorry I've not been not been vlogging it's been just absolutely mad at school and you know I'm just not um I just haven't been in the mood to to chronicle my my moves um but uh yeah, so thanks for coming with me on this journey such as it was, and stay tuned for the pre-order and, and cover reveal and all that stuff, which should be coming um, relatively soon. So yeah, yeah, thank you so much for, for your support. Look out for Laertes. The pre-order will be up um, in about a month or so, and... I'm really excited to, to share it with you all, even though it is sad, you know, Shakespearean tragedy and all. All right, that is it. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe for more English nerdy goodness, and I'll see you next Monday.